and welcome to another Forge Lands Forever cast. I'm your host, Falco, and today we're looking at a game between Voodoo as the Red UEF and Black Dead as the Blue Aeon on Tag Craftius Maximus. This is a ranked match. This map is unique because it has underwater mass extractors. You usually don't see those. Voodoo going two P gens first land black death doing the same but giving three mixes with this ACU as opposed to two interesting things about this map six islands they usually have a rock on them you can reclaim that there's also quite a bit of mass where is it maybe I'm mistaken but loads of trees Got a nice ledge up here. Good, put, good place to put a radar. Also, there's these four areas that can be shot at by artillery, but if you can defend them with your own artillery, it's a great place for a radar. There's two expansions on the top and the bottom. Usually, people send their ACU to the top because it's shorter. This is a rectangle. Now, engineers coming out. First four engineers, and then a tank. First four engineers, and an aurora. Hydro nest almost complete. Hydro already done for Voodoo. Difference in build. Black Death using his ACU to build a naval factory right here. That's an expensive early investment. It should pay off being able to get engineers already going along the sides of the map and then getting a naval presence to prevent a naval expansion by Voodoo. A cruiser can win this game. Like if you get it behind your enemy, or in Black Death's case, a destroyer, just hit them with Oblivion cannons until all the mechs and power is dead. Now a bomber coming out from Voodoo will be spotted. Air just finished, interceptor halfway done. Voodoo might choose to bomb the interceptor. Nope, interceptor is complete. The target was the air capacity. The building capacity. Second bomb comes out, takes out an NG that wasn't doing too much. Multiple interceptors. Three NGs killed by two bombers. Not the best return on investment. And now Black Death has an interceptor with veterancy. That's always nice. Now. ACUs. Black Death is slightly faster, and this raiding group may be shut down by Voodoo, but it can run away because it is an Aurora. What needs to get out of there? C maybe kill this NG? No, kill the NG. Yeah, kill it. Now it looks like Black Death will go prevent air production. That won't be a problem because Voodoo's already stopped it. Black Death will take air. At least momentarily. Now, Black Death shutting down some strikers from doing any more damage. One slips by, which will be problematic. He'll need to make some tanks, which he does. Black Death switching the bombers now that he has air control. Plan would probably be to take out these or these. Either one is a good target. I always opt for the factory production just because it slows down the number of units he has. But it looks like he might be able to get both. No anti air is being constructed and a transport is coming out. Land production is completely stopped. Or land factory production is completely stopped for Voodoo. He's now getting more land factories with the ACU. Now a stationary tech one flak. Now up. Looks like we'll see a bomb. He spreads out the NGs a bit. Transport goes down though. It's just a waste of power. Now Black Death's ACU after securing the expansion will now head out. Sub now being produced by Black Death will kill the mass extractors. Excuse me, I need to sneeze. Alright. 
Hooray for muting mics. Now bombers will attack Voodoo's ACU. He's with a very large force and an his ACU. No upgrades. Black Death deciding to get a factory. Something needs to be done about this fast. Black Death is very low in the land factory count. Now drops will come out for Voodoo and be successful. Black Death has map control at the moment. But this force is looking awfully mean. Black Death trying to get point defenses up, but not enough build capacity. Tech 2 land air might do the trick. There's very little flak, very few interceptors. Tech 2 gunships might just be late though. No drop coming around. We'll land just on the islands. Aurora is now shooting at the factory production, or just the factories. Now one point defense was successfully completed, we'll shoot at Voodoo's ACU. Multiple point defense is now up. This one. Small amounts of already in the force, but this one goes down. Second one up. Or third one. Point defense is... Well, two engineers still, maybe an oblivion turret would be nice. Black Death moves his ACU back very quickly. Not exactly sure how he got it back so quick. But now he's stranded within Tech 1 units. Maybe some Oblivion turrets, gunships, something. But at minute 10, Black Death goes down. In a very unfortunate battle. He had a nice start. Was amassing units here. But he was slow in getting the factories out. Chose instead to get Tech 2 massive tractors and a navy. Which might have been a better long-term strategy but did not help him in the short term so hope you like this cast and good night